culture, culture, culture shock. My name is Tori Famuewa, originally from Nigeria, I live in New York, and I am an up and coming fashion designer. But I like to design what people love, what people want to wear, you know. I like to design for individuals, almost like a bespoke, you know. I want you to feel like you're the only person that owns that piece of garment when you're wearing it, and it's custom made to you, for you, for your body. creative director for Victoria's Secret. Um, I did the flagship stores and before that American Eagle for over 10 years. I got laid off by Victoria's Secret because the economy got bad and um, I had the opportunity to go to another company and do the same thing at the same capacity but for the longest time my friends and family had told me that I had something. I didn't know what the something was. They're like, you're supposed to be doing more, you know. The reason why I actually started designing was because I wanted to see us as Nigerians, as Africans on the red carpet. So that is, I would say, my specialty, doing red carpet evening gowns, um, couture pieces. Um, so that's where it all started. So that first collection, I had Ankara's, I had some tie-dye pieces, and um, from there, I've, it's evolved. I do have a men's line. Um, I've created one men's full collection because it's not as easy to design for men. Our, what we wear every day is the same, shirt, pants, shirt, pants, shirt, pants. It's like, before I designed, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to have something to say. It's not for every man. It's definitely for somebody that is edgy, somebody that is adventurous. Um, I find that um, we as Africans still love the Western brand. We like things with um, a French connotation or Italian connotation. You know, I took my t-shirts to Nigeria about two years ago. Somebody took them back for me and um, gave them out to friends. And you know, The person did a bit of research, you know, bought 20 shirts, gave them to 20 different people. And funny enough, majority of people had a problem with the fact that my brand was called Toriola. Was called Toriola? <laughs> which is my name, which I'm proud of. I decided to call my brand that for a reason. It was like an education for the rest of the world. So when people in Nigeria, as Nigerians, are having a problem with that name, because it doesn't have a French connotation or Italian connotation, there's a big problem there. Now I'm working on some new unique animal type prints that, you know, speaks to... You know, when people think animal, <laughs> animal print, they always think African, you know, so... Uh, but I'm using fabrics that are a little bit more fluid um, and just has more international appeal for everybody. I am looking to open a small factory back at home in Nigeria um, for many reasons, you know, a few of the reasons is that um, it's home, you know. A lot of my inspiration comes from there. My fabrics come from there. Um, and I think it's about time to give back. There is obviously, you know, we have economic opportunities over there in Nigeria, so this is my way of giving back. Buying fabrics from there, hiring people, training people, um, we have an opportunity to finesse as Nigerians. Mm -hmm.